I've happened upon a disturbing revelation. So imagine we're in a simulation and they have limits on their rendering capacity. So rendering Earth is already like a nightmare and a half and uh, massive energy usage. And then like, I don't know, try to render Mars. Like they don't want us to get there. That's a whole other planet of rendering. And why do you think quantum physics and Newtonian physics don't add up? Because they didn't think about that. Like they've been trying to render and solve the problems as we try to discover them. And if you think about it, their rendering rate is actually the speed of light. Yo, you check Bitcoin today? Hi there, so I'm Grimes for Stupid People, so I'm gonna explain what she just said. When people say that we are living in a simulation, what that implies is that it's computer generated in some way, meaning there has to be a computer that's generating the visual illusion of reality around us, which would require a lot of rendering, which means a lot of computer processing speed. So that's why Grimes is saying that there's a computational rendering limit to our current reality. Per her suggestion that the incompatibility of Newtonian and quantum physics is evidence of the limit of rendering capability, she's also implying that uh, material or scientific reality, ideological reality, is also part of a simulation, which takes away from presuming that humans are merely participating in a simulation.